and welcome back to this week's video. Um, as you can see, I did I did manage to get the $100 suit completed on time, and I have to say I'm glad that this week's VIP suits are not to my liking. Um, they're just not suits I'm gonna wear, so thankfully I don't have to spend any more money, which is good, because I don't have any more money. Um, but if you did want to, to see a close-up of it, this is what she looks like. Um, this week's VIP suit is also not one that can be replicated um, because we don't have anything sunflower themed uh, to my knowledge. But hello cat, what do you have to say? He's here to meow at me. Um, I will say this is giving Love Nikki sunflower suit vibes. We do have a suit like that in Love Nikki. I do remember it and I remember being furious. What do you want? What do you want? He leaves if I pet him, but he'll just stand there and yell at me. Okay. Um, like I said, Love Nikki has a suit that's similar to this one, and I remember being really angry that I wasn't able to get all of the pieces of it until it came back for crafting. Um, oh, that was That's an ancient memory. So let's go ahead and cover uh, her cost. We have this week three VIP items. There's four suits dropping this week. Two VIP and two... Um, that are event suits, which means you can purchase them for gold. So like I said, we can't replicate her, um, but let's go ahead and cover her tags and her uh, pieces. She is sunproof at 12K. That, I think that might be our highest ranking sunproof suit. Um, I'll have it up on the screen if I'm wrong. Active at 6K, Lolita at 4K, my favorite tag. Romantic, sweet, and uh, romantic, smart, and ardor at 2K. Let's go ahead and cover her story and her pieces. Um, she has a really interesting braided um, wig with blue stripes in it. That's really cute. I think that piece will look really nice. Um, separate from the outfit, it is just a shame that the sunflowers are attached to her hair, so you will have to, uh, that will make it a little more difficult to pair that wig with other wigs, I mean with other outfits. Uh, let's go ahead and start in on her story. Her tagline says, the sky I used to be looking forward to now can be reached easily. The color of sunshine, a light and gentle gold. A sunflower's heart full and bold tied to the sun a connection to hold from the soil it springs nurtured by rain's gentle kiss tender sprouts adorned with dew-filled bliss one day I'll be closer to the sun it declares with hope in this cocoon of affection the sunflower grows no longer distant as its bond with the sun glows Okay, but I do have sunflower earrings that just look just like that in real life, so that's very cute. I love a good sunflower themed suit. Her bag flying off screen like that is a little, um, I see it's pouring sunflowers out. Okay, so that must be animated. It's pouring some sunflowers out of her bag. It's cute. Um, not sure I vibe with that particular accessory, but that is that suit. Harold will cover later. Harold is not a VIP suit, so we're gonna cover the VIP suits first. Let's head back over into Way Up. So, Embrace the Sun is $50. Rainbow Garment is a $20 suit. Way Up is our current event. She is called Steamed Delicacies, and Steamed Delicacies here is spelled correctly, but that says Steamed Delicacy on her suit. Uh, her official suit name, so that's a typo we'll need to address. Um, like I said, not a suit I would wear. Um, her details are stunning. She's very cute. I like her little, her little rolling piglets are very cute. Um, this one has like Dumbo ears, which is questionable, I think, but she's really interesting. She's just not for me. Like I said, she's $20, and with these rainbow garment suits, you will also get all of these additional prizes when you uh, purchase. So if we go into more awards, you can see all of the different things that you will get for that. Um, occasionally purchasing one is good if you need uh, items, resources. Uh, but this week's uh, secondary event, the two week long event is also very good for resources. And it is in fact the second time we've received it in like three months. And before that we hadn't seen it for a year. So I have hope that they will bring back Chang'an Tour, which is my personal favorite. And if they do, I will spend so much money on Chang'an Tour. But I digress. Let's go into Steam Delicacies tags and her tagline. She is the food tag at 9k. 
shocking. I would have never guessed. Uh, Ardor at 4K, Mixed Style at 3K, and then Active Smart and Cute at 1500. Now she has the Mixed Style tag, which would indicate that she is a mix of Western and Eastern styles. I gotta admit, I'm not seeing what what part of this is Western style, but maybe it's mixed with another style, like um, maybe like another Eastern style, like Japanese or Korean or something, and I'm just missing the, the elements here that are mixed. Let's take a look at her tagline. She says, the sweet smell from her steamer is filling the air. Do pork buns smell sweet? I don't know. I don't eat pork. Magpies fall silent, wet fireflies flit through shadows, fragrance fills the courtyard. A clear moon at midnight, serene scents stretch for miles. Walking under the moon, shadows shift, one lingers in the corridor. Gently, she opens the window again, trying to get some aroma in. Gradually, the sky like water, the pure moon at its zenith. Food trays laden with delicacies, scents waft for ten miles. Away from the human world, fragrance cleaves purple clouds. Smoke and clouds envelop the steamer, immortals send exquisite dishes. I want to go to this festival, this sounds delicious. Whatever's happening here sounds tasty. My cat agrees. I know you're here to beg for treats. I'm not giving you treats, go away. Um, that is steamed delicacy and she is again at twenty dollars we have one more vip item dropped this week and it is a seven day gift non-animated so as we know seven day gifts are uh, usually worth the price they're five dollars you get 300 gold um a bunch of uh, other items so two wish lotus and four recruit tickets as well as the chat set so the total ends up being somewhere around um, 3,000 gold, I want to say, 3,600 is it? 3,620 gold value for only 4.99. It's one of the best deals in the game. I only get them, however, if I like the actual, um, design of it. Ripe Loquat, not for me. I'm not gonna wear that. Sorry. <laughs> it's pretty. It's very pretty. And no offense to anybody who, um, who loves it. It's just not for me. And thankfully it's not for me because once again, I have spent way too much money in the last two weeks. Also, whoever left me that comment telling me I was in my in my whale era, no, I don't have enough money to be a whale. Ignore my VIP level. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Ignore that. Hilarious comment. Um, okay, at the end of this though, I will be doing a my last 10 pull in herbal culture, and that will open up the box, and then I'm going to complete the herbal charm uh story stages and see if i have enough if i've done enough pulls here if i've been lucky enough to be able to finish 117 of these stars i don't know if i will be we'll have to see uh okay let's go into this two-week suit over here which is going to be the easiest to do the calculations for we've had this event before just about a month ago spring herald is a uh, another unique suit so we have this week three unique suits and one rare suit um, and that rare suit, if I've done the math right for that, rough, rough. We will have to, we will have to go over that when we get to it. But Spring Herald is only going to cost about 4,000 gold, maybe 4,100. It's not a difficult event at all, and it does drop a lot of goodies. She has a unique suit. She is flowery at 10k, innocent at 6k, daily at 3k or 4k, and then romantic, womanly, and cute at 2k. Her tagline says, the spring wind wakes up the pink flowers along with the lady under the tree. Now I will say this suit is very similar to the costume battle suit, uh, and we can go take a quick look at her. Uh, she is another free suit, and most people have her eventually. Uh, here she is, Petal Rain. You can see the similarities in the background, the cut of the dress, uh, the color scheme, even the hairstyle. So, um, what is her tagline though? Her tagline is Sunproof at 12k. Oh, she might be stronger than this week's uh, event suit. So, that is, that is Harold's suit. She's like a sl she's like, um, the costume battle duo's, the costume battle suit's little sister. That's what she's like. Actually, the wig, the wig is different. I'm thinking of the, the wig for, I think, this the current event. Somebody's wig is similar. 
let's go ahead and cover her story. Um, this, we already read the tagline. I'm all over the place today. The river and mountains are beautiful in the lingering daylight with the scent of flowers and grass in the spring breeze. Under the small peach tree, trying on fine silk garments, butterflies compete in leaving their fragrance. Dragging ornate shoes, jade ornaments clink melodiously. Fancy buildings stack up, carved railings twist. Decorated with frost and snow, resembling palaces adorned with silver flowers. Summer comes back and sees off the spring air. Um, I, I do like this one. I like this one a lot. Um, I love her little spring green colored skirt and the background piece is really pretty. I like that this bird is a separate item and that we can wear that with any suit. Uh, the way to do this event is you hit reflop and then it flips all of the cards and then you can see you can consume gold. Now you have to, don't tap this. This will take you to the VIP pad. Oops, and then when you leave it, it'll just send you back to home. Um, so do not tap the zero down here. If you wanna purchase with gold, you need to tap the actual cards. You get six tasks a day. As you can see, I've managed to complete five of them. Didn't go fishing. We'll come back to that. And you get 90 of these uh, tokens every time you complete a daily task. Uh, this event goes on for 14 days, so that ends up being about 76 free pulls over the course of this event. There's 96 to flip the... To clear this board four times costs 96 total flips, leaving us to buy about 200 flips for gold. You can buy the first three flips for 200 gold a piece, which is way cheaper than buying them for 300 gold a piece at the end of this. It's 4,000 gold to complete, which is pretty good for a VIP or for a, a unique suit. Um, and she is quite cute. Uh, way up, on the other hand, is if I have done this math correctly, and I can't see how I could have done it wrong, um, a scam. I'm gonna have to get her because I'm a completionist, but I, I don't understand why she's so expensive. She is a rare suit and she's gonna cost 4,480 gold to complete. Not only that, but this is objectively the worst mini game we have. It's awful. I hate it so much. Um, this is the one where you have to cut the food to the specifications asked of the target or of the, the person here. So she wants 550 grams. This thing weighs 600 grams. So I need to somehow cut off 50. But if you cut off too small of a piece, it, um, here, let's try it. Let's see if I can get it. Nope. Cut. Oh, I'm out of energy. Okay. Apply. Yeah, dear, your customers don't like tiny stuff. So if you try to do a small cut, it won't let you. And there is a certain amount of, see, I got 17 error. That's because I was 17 grams off or whatever. So 500 and I need 320. Now this event, I just, do, you have to do 20 of these. You have to cut, you, you have to spend 20 energy. I should specify, you don't have to do 20 levels a day. You have to spend 20 energy. And in order to spend 20 energy, you need to do 20 cuts. So if you are, uh, if you don't care about your talent score even a little bit, you can absolutely just do um, 20 cuts in the first level and call it. So that was six cuts right there. Every cut, is one energy. Every energy is one currency and every uh, currency costs one gold. So if you're looking at the shop costs and you wanna know how much everything is gonna cost, it is one gold a piece. Now, if I've done the math correctly, we get 290 pulls from the task list, we get 70 from the daily gift box and we get 1,008 from the energy restoration. The entire suit costs 5,770. We only get 1,200 free. Why is, why is this rare almost more, why is this rare more than the unique suit that's dropping this week? Why is this rare more than any of the other suits? I don't, this happens occasionally where a rare suit will cost as much or more than a unique suit and that's crazy to me. Why? This suit should have cost 2,000. It's not even anything particularly special. Um, in terms of the suits that we get for rares, some of our rares are magnificent and definitely worth the 4,000 or 3,000 price tag. But this one is just simple. I mean, I don't know. I, if, I hope I've done this math wrong. If somebody else has a better math, hit me up in the Discord, hit me up in the comments, and I will double check it. I'll change it. But from the math that I have done, this suit I would skip. Um, it, 
it's just not worth it. If you are trying to save your gold and if you're not a completionist like I am, I recommend skipping this one. She's daily at 4k, simple at 2k, wooing at 1600, and then elegant, romantic, and innocent at 700. Her tagline says, sitting by the river, she brews her tea quietly. Grind ink with dewdrops, melt the ice carrying fragrance. Pine blossoms for wine, spring water to brew tea. Sit by the lucid water, listen to its murmur, watch the fine dust swirl in the air. Willow leaves grow at the brows, peach blossoms bloom on the cheeks. Snow foam and flowers float in the cup, the true flavor of life is in its pure joy. Listening to the Orioles song from atop, the first sound of spring's arrival. Okay, so that is that suit. Um, I, I would just skip her. Not only does her event suck, but she, her, look, look at my talent ranking. <laughs> this is the only person who likes this talent. This is the only person who likes this game. Zhao, I have so many questions. This game is awful, but you can tell there's only one person who likes it on my server. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's a no from me. Okay, let's do my final pull in herbal culture. I have nine out of 40 pieces. Now I'm gonna say, um, this will guarantee, if my pull gives me zero, and I'm really hoping that it doesn't, this will at least guarantee me two pieces of the unique, which I already pulled one of them, thankfully. So we're gonna see if opening the box is enough for me to get the last piece of the makeup because I have a really strong ranking VIP suit in this event. So let's pull. What am I getting? Okay, it won't be empty. There will be at least one clothing item in here, thankfully. And I did pull um, in the regular wish pool earlier today and I managed to get five pieces of clothing, which was impressive. Okay, so excellent suit. Silk satin. Uh, yin yang debris always useful especially at my level i really do need a lot of um i really do need a lot of yin yang debris recruit paper oh if you're seeing my chats down here points only matter if you're going for the talent rank so you are more than welcome to just skip to just do your 20 cuts and then skip all of the rest of them um because um your ranking for the event is based on how much gold you spend whoa yeah! I got the suit that matches Eve! Yes! Actually, I didn't- I was not thinking I was gonna get that one. Oh my god, yes! I have got the luck today. Okay, what's in the box? Horns, horns, horns! Earrings. The box had the earrings in it. Oh man. Okay. Alright. I guess I can't have everything. Okay, but this means I need to redo this one because I have 16 out of 18. I bet I can get these two stars now that I have the dress. Let's see if it will let me, because I think, nope, that's the only piece of that suit that I had. So I had no pieces of this suit previously and I still managed to get two stars and now I have the dress. So let's see if I can get it. Yes, okay, and this one? Every star counts. And I think I also need to go back and look at the excellent suit. Oh, I don't have the background piece for this one, but I do have the dress, so maybe... Give? No, it wouldn't give it to me. Okay. Um, what piece did I just pull? Let me find that suit. Earrings. Okay, earrings from the dragon suit. We'll do the dragon suit. This is red seeds. Oh, it's from that one. It's from the cherry blossom suit. So go into way up, go down to uh, herbal charm, start, and then it is from this suit, coral cherry. Yes. And let's see if it will give me that last star if I just have two pieces of that suit. Oh, I guess I have three pieces. Okay, yeah, maybe it'll give it to me, because that's a lower ranking one. It did! Okay, okay, so now I'm at 12 out of 12, 15 out of 15, 16 out of 18, but I didn't pull any more classy purple, so I'm not expecting to get that one. 14 out of 18, but I didn't pull any more of Emerald Blossom. Oh, I, I did pull more of Emerald Blossom, but I can't. 14 out of 18, I didn't pull enough of that one. Let's complete the last one. 
and take a look at that and see if I can get enough stars to get the whole of the makeup. I don't know. We shall see. get most of the stars or I didn't get all of the stars let's see oh I'm at 107 out of 120 so I need 13 more stars there's no way I'm gonna get that with the amount of suit pieces that I have wait you get a title as an award for completing this has that always been here it's a limited time item I didn't know that If you get all 120 stars, you get a time limited item. I didn't I did not know that. Okay, I I don't I'm not going to go for it. That's going to cost too much. But like with with opening the box, I and with my suit parts, I did manage to get almost all of it. It's just a shame that I wasn't able to pull more dresses. I think if I had pulled more dresses, I would have been able to get further because the dresses are stronger than the accessories. Um and I've pulled 12 out of 40 pieces, so I think if I had pulled closer to um, 15 pieces or more, I might have been able to do it. And that's, you know, that is what it is. Um, but that, so if you're wondering if it's worth it to open the box on a suit that you love, yeah, you'll get more of the makeup, but you won't fully complete it unless you're very lucky. Uh, so I do know that this week they added in more encounter chapters for those of us who have finished encounters but i don't know if they wrote it into the event um announcement oh yeah bloom glow is coming back again oh. but as i understand it this is not the right list woman warrior sun blessing and wisteria blossoms i don't think we've had those come back before oh ch uh, happy childhood is up but that comes around every three weeks so most everybody knows how to play that right now i do have a tutorial up on my channel if you are interested in that let's take a quick look at the three bloom glow outfits let me just write them down um Okay, so now we need to come over here and we go into oh makeup yeah because I got one more piece oh that's quite cute actually hey, let's wear it let's see what it looks like not a whole lot different from what I was wearing before okay collection uh, search search for woman warrior now woman warrior if I recall correctly was a uh, $20 suit that I maybe should have got when she came around, so this is Woman Warrior, she is male dress at AK, yeah, so she was only $20. Great suit, I don't know if she's gonna be worth how expensive it'll be to pull her from the event, but she's there. Let's take a look at Sun Bless- nope, that's not Sun. Sun Blessing? Good god, I cannot type. Sun Blessing, she was a $50 suit, uh, fairy at 12k. I mean, she's really pretty, actually. Um, interesting green and orange color scheme on her. 
And then the final suit is Wisteria Blossom. Nope. That is exactly the suit I was thinking of. So this is Wisteria Blossom. She has this gigantic umbrella. Um, I can't remember if she's the one that I can't remember if these suits are the ones that came out the last time Bloom Glow came around. Because all the Bloom Glow suits and events blend together for me. But that is this week's uh, suits. So I will catch you all in the next one. Remember to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye bye.